Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, you cross the line. They are the one that set the timeline for you. They drawn a line that you should not cross it. But God has hold your hands and you have crossed every line that the enemy said you should not cross. They built the wall, but you leap and you jump over the wall. Hallelujah. They saw you leaping over the wall they built. And this is why they are mad right now. Someone is so mad with you right now because how dare you? How dare you leap over the wall that they built with all their evil things that they put in place? That they built with all their incantation? That they built with all their evil imagination? That they built with different kinds of things? How did you leap over it without even getting hurt? Because the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you go through the fire, I will be with you. Through the desert, I will be with you. God of the desert is the same God of the place where there is water. Hallelujah. The Bible says he makes water to spring forth from the rock. Unimaginable miracle. Something that no one could have thought. Somebody was sitting that, oh, God will tell Moses to, to dig the ground. Dig it and dig it and dig it. There will be a well. He said, no, struck the rock. He says, struck the rock. That is something, that is the God that you are serving. Hallelujah. God said, move past it. Cross the untimely death. Cross it over to the other side to long life. Cross the sickness. Cross it over to the other side to long life. Cross the poverty. Cross it over to prosperity. Cross this. Cross it to the other side. Yes, cross it to the other side. All the equipment, their satanic equipment that they used to build the wall, that they used to lay the foundation, that they used to dig the hole, it has become a waste of time. This is why they are angry with you right now. Because they saw it with their own eyes that you did not just cross the line. You put down the wall. You put the wall down. Hallelujah. And this is the wall that they build. Because with this wall, they set a boundary between you and your miracle. With this wall, they set a boundary between you and your testimony. With this wall, they set a boundary between you and your, and your calling. But the Lord said, put down the wall and you put down the wall. I love that word. When we cannot, when, when the wall, mountain refuse to move, we will put the wall. When the wall refuses to fall, we will uproot it. Yes, we will uproot it because you are an army for the, of the Lord. You are an army of the Lord. So you are not like, oh, this wall refuses to fall. <clears throat> let me go and create another. Ah, let me go backward. No, because there is no backward in serving God. It is only going forward with good things. Hallelujah. They saw you and they are angry. How dare you put down our wall? How dare you? What I hear in my spirit right now, roaring like a lion that they are not. Roaring like a lion that they are not. They are not lions. They might roar like a lion, but they are not. Because the lion of the tribes of Judah, the king of kings, have prevailed over every other thing that roar like a lion. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. When the lion roars, every other thing that acts as if they are lion, they give way. They give way. They saw you leaping over the wall. They build and they are angry. How dare you? Child of God, even if they build another one, you will still pull it down. They cannot intimidate us. They cannot intimidate you. 
Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The Bible says the war of Jericho must be destroyed except for Rehab. Yes. The word the war of Jericho must be destroyed except for those that decided to repent. Except for those that have lived evil. They will destroy, they will fall with their war. We will bring down the war upon them by the help of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 6. The Bible tells us that Jericho is destroyed in Joshua chapter 6. In verse 20, the Bible says, <clears throat> It says, So the people shouted when the priest blew with their trumpet. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great, with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. They took the city. The only one that was saved is that Re is Rehab. Rehab. Rehab because of what she did. The good heart that she had to protect those that were sent to spy, those that were that that the, the Jericho people wanted to kill. You see, so that is why I tell you that if they fail to repent, something must definitely bring them down, because you will keep crossing the line, will keep bringing down the walls. If they dig the hole, we keep jumping and we pass over the hole. Don't be afraid. Because it is God that is going with you into the battle. I know there are so many Christians who are kind of afraid. When they hear about warfare, ah, they will build another one. I am tired. Don't be afraid. It is not you that is fighting the battle. It is God. All you need to do is to say, God, I am here. It's just for you to make yourself available. And he will fight all the battles for you. He will fight all the, all the challenge. God will fight it for us. Hallelujah. And when he fight the battle, he fight it to finish. He fight it to finish. How dare you? This is what is causing a lot of them angry now. Because they saw you leaping over the wall. They just built. Yes, in this anger, they might want to build a stronger one. You, you need to understand, as you are growing every day, you are getting stronger as well. If they build a stronger one with the hammer of the Lord, with the sword of the Lord, you can pull it down as well. If they build another one, you can pull it down. If they build another one, you can pull it down. Yes, there is no, no surrender. <laughs> no retreat and no surrender because you are winning. It's either you are winning or you are winning. There is no two ways about it. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.